Yes, it is. No, it's not. Yes, it is. No, it's not. Yes, it is. Come on, dude. No, it's not. Creativity is an addiction. We can't get enough of it. We love it. We embrace it. We hate it. It drives us crazy. It keeps us awake at night. Unplug because we will always say yes to creativity, totally uncut because we all make mistakes. So turn it into a tool. This is Arrow Unplugged. I think one of the, the biggest culture shocks of this world of streaming that we do, be it on Netflix, Hulu, Disney Plus, even a podcast on iHeart, iTunes, Spreaker, I think one of the biggest culture shocks is that we are not living in real time. Where I am right now, it is July 1st, 2022 already, and it happens to be 8.17 in the morning. The sun is starting to peak over the beautiful trees in this forest in South Charlotte, North Carolina. I don't know where you are, how you received our togetherness right now, our brotherhood. I don't, I, I, we don't live in real time and it's very difficult sometimes to picture yourself in those moments i thought being on the radio for 43 years when you go into that studio and you share communication and thoughts and things that might empower or just just basically get someone to laugh i thought that was was a tough enough job to think that you you are there right hello my name is you're there right and so when you're on the radio, you, you get local ratings and, and you get to talk about local events. But if I were to sit here and talk about Charlotte, North Carolina all day long, I would bore you stupid. I, I really would. You, you would just go, I got to go. I got to get out of here. And so so trying to understand what what where you are versus where I am. And you only sit here and think it's not about what we're doing here. It's about what we're going to be doing with what we pick up here. Hey, it's Arrow. This is The Choice. This is what I was writing while the sun was waking up on a brilliant new day. A summer day. A summer way. Without these books of spilled ink, I honestly got to tell you, I would have absolutely no memory of any summer. Only one summer consistently jumps into play on such a lazy day. The summer of 1978. We were wild teenagers from the south side of Billings, Montana, near Optimus Park. It was Rob, Neil, Rene, Kelly, Susan, Bart. This was the group of people that actually influenced me heavily to write the book Halloween 78, which is available. Only the first part is. I still have the second part, but I've never felt that urge to complete the story. And I don't know why. Maybe it's because at 60, I'm going, why should I? Why not leave a lot more to the reader's imagination? The events of that summer were everything young adults want. Adventure as well as nightmare. Rob and Rene were the only ones who drove. The rest of us were passengers in a pickup and a car. We ran all over the Indian caves upon the rims surrounding Billings, Montana by day. And once that sun set, oh yeah, we sat in circles playing loud music and drinking extremely cheap beer. Slow ride from Fog Hat and some some new band called Van Halen was starting to find their way into our collection of eight track tapes. Oh, it was the summer of 78. I've been a daily writer since July of 1994. I've written about several summers, 28 years of summers, and life hasn't allowed me to remember them as I did this one in 1978. I could go back very easily. It's, it's, it's all there. And it's all placed in very, very weatherized containers so that the, the atmosphere can't get in there and kiss it and turn it a different color. The memories aren't there. And yet for the longest time in my growing years, I would always wonder, Mom, why? Why don't you remember? It's a simple question. Why don't you remember? And, and now... I have a better understanding. Although she did not write, I did. And the summers of past can live in the past, or I can reach back and study their path several different times. What about the summer before September 11th, 2001? The summer of 2008 during that great recession. Was there ever a summer that I love more than any other. What about you? The summers. It seems like that's when that evil little thing gets out of us. You know, the child. The child who wants to run and play. There's no school today. I'm going to do whatever I want and I'm going to play whatever I want. I still listen to Fog Hat. I love me some Van Halen. The greatest thing about Alexa is the fact that I can say, hey, play this, and she does. 
I don't have the album sleeve anymore. I don't have the CD, the 8-track, or the 45s. I've got Alexa. She can take me wherever I want. But at 60 years old, as I enter this summer, deeper and deeper we grow, it's not the hits on the radio that I want to listen to. I want to listen to the deep cuts, which means I probably have to go buy an album because Alexa is man-made. And Alexa has this horrible habit of only playing what is popular. And sometimes the only thing she gets me are the songs that were played on the radio. Gotta get back to the summer of 78. When listening to that 8-track featuring Foghat, you know what that meant? Once Slow Ride played, that meant I had to wait for another... Anybody who has never used an 8-track does not understand what I just did. (laughs) But if you grew up in the 8-track days... (laughs) Oh, those summer memories. I'm Errol. That's what I was writing while the sun was waking up on a brilliant new day.